Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to talk about master cylinder. This is the master cylinder fitted to a 1975 through a 1980 MGB. It's the one that fits on the brake servo. The master cylinder is a little different, much simpler than the um, cylinder from 68 through 74. Oh my gosh, this one you can do at home pretty easily. But beware, these three fittings that take the brake lines, these are metric, 10 by 1.0. The thread down the bottom side that takes the switch uh, for the uh, uh, warning light, um, that's 3 8 24. But these, the brake line ends, are metric. So when you buy new, new, uh, new lines, make sure you get metric lines on the end of there. The rest of the brake system is all American, but these three, I can't emphasize enough, are metric. So anyway, let's go ahead and put this guy together. I've already assembled part of the cylinder here just from the standpoint of time. The black spring, the black spring here with the keeper on the front uh, to protect the seal. Uh, this guy goes in first. And then we have this piston. Now pay attention here because the, the uh, seal at the rear points towards the rear. The seal at the front points towards the front because the brake fluid gets trapped between these two pistons to work the, the front brakes. So with a little bit of sill glide, I love this stuff, it's from Napa, uh, sill glide from Napa, we can go ahead and put a little bit of stuff in here. We've already got the piston in there, the uh, spring rather, and we can depress this guy and get him down, down the bore and then into the into one of these two rear positions we put the pin. Okay. So that holds the rear guy in place. Now we'll drop the spring and protector. The black spring went in first. The normal spring colored one goes in second. Here we're going to install a seal just so you can see how it's done. We use a lot of uh, sill glide on this, lots of it, makes it easy. Put this guy, start him here. I love to use a dentist tool. We call it a dentist tool, it's really a scribe. And using the round part of it, just go ahead and walk that seal on. Is, huh, how easy is that, huh? So we've already got the, the front seal on in place. There are two seals with the kit, and it's sometimes uh, some some use one, some use the other. This one used this one. Make sure you take all of your old parts and put them in a bag, so you do not mix the old with the new. Now we can go ahead and put this guy in, and come on, let's go. And now we'll put him. We don't want to press on him too hard here. We we'll go around just a little bit, just. Uh, just to, uh, we don't want to poke any holes in the seals or anything, but just go around and then our guy ought to drop right in. He does. And I have a pair of snap ring pliers handy. I'm usually doing this in the vise, but uh, the snap ring pliers will hold me here today. I should be able to get that down in there. Look at that. Oh boy, the uh, two pistons are, are in here. So we're all set there. Now let's go ahead and insert our um, spring and so forth here in the back. I, this is the shuttle valve. Again, the only function of this is for the warning light. I've already got one O-ring on right here. I'm putting the other, other one on. There are two different size O-rings depending on the type of cylinder. See the sizes here? See the, see the large one and the small one? This piston takes the large one. Other pistons take the smaller one. Two of these and two of these come in the kit, if you're lucky. This kit only had one of the smaller ones. Fortunately, we didn't need that. But they're just standard O-rings, fractional size. If I can get this thing off my finger. Uh, the other one went someplace here. So here we've got our, our uh, shuttle valve. 
and we'll go ahead and put our spring in place. Again, cleanliness is next to godliness, and if we can get this guy depressed enough, there we go. Here he is. So we're going to put a little grease down inside the bore. Again, this isn't grease, it's uh, assembly lube. And at the end of this goes our spacer, an O-ring. This is a 13 sixteenths. Bolt holds this in place. And you want to put this in a vise. Hold it and get that really snug. This is not snug enough. You want to make sure that's really, really tight. There's a couple different types of, of two different types of reservoirs. The very early ones take the triangular, the triangular type. Uh, this takes a standard uh, bushing in the back to hold it. I, again, I like to use this stuff. You don't want to plug off any holes, but you sure want to make sure there's enough here. So he goes in here, and the ones with the rectangular flanges, the rectangular um, uh, reservoirs take two of these. This one is a little different. This takes a, an O-ring up front. Put some, don't know why they did, did this. Uh, very quickly they changed it to the rectangular one, which is, looks less expensive to build anyway. And then this goes up inside the bottom of the reservoir. So we'll put some more grease on this. And then uh, we can put the, put the reservoir on. However, I would not, uh, I would not, you can hold this in place with the screws, um, but I, I would not hold it down and make a firm connection here until the master cylinder is attached to the servo. Now before you put it on the servo, you've got this guy up front. Right, it's the three-piece assembly, the steel. This does not come with the new kits, so don't wreck the old one. Here's the guide. That very often does not come with the new kit. So you want to you want to make sure that this stuff you save everything because there's no way of being assured that all the parts come in the new kits. There's a lot of kits made by a lot of people. And oh yeah, they're all complete, but they're not. So anyway, here's here's uh, here's the seal that goes on the front. I'm using a lot of this grease, but uh, well, it sure makes it sure makes it nice. You don't have any corrosion left over at the end. So now maybe I got too excited here. Maybe I should put this guy in first. I'll put this guy on a second. There we go. So our, our cylinder is complete with the exception of tightening up this 13 16 at the back, putting the screws in to hold the reservoir because we're not, we're going to attach it to the, to the uh, servo once it's in place first. But you should put the switch in here, which I don't have with me right now, put him in now because sometimes reaching up underneath in the car gets you in the wrong place. So that is a quick course on rebuilding the 1975 through 1980 cylinder. What I didn't show you was how to get this shuttle valve out. Once this guy is apart, you can un undo this, this bolt, wear a glove or wrap your hand around it in a rag, have a nice, a nice anvil or vise and just bam, hit this thing over and over and over until that valve slides out. It's the only way that I found is effective to get the guy out. So, anyway, thanks very much. We look forward to seeing you at the birthday party uh, or at the Chicagoland swap meet. Until then, safety fast.